Hello. Thank you for joining. Welcome beginners and newcomers. My name is Randy and I am a radio addict. I guess it started when I was a kid. Started dabbling around the age of nine or ten with CB radios. It was cool. All the kids were doing it. I went from a little walkie-talkie up to a full Radio Shack base station with a big antenna on the roof. I stopped doing it for quite a while until I got older. And then I stumbled across one of these on the internet. It's only $26. It seemed innocent enough. But from there, it got more serious. I got more before I knew it. I had one of these and then one of these. Next thing I knew, I was pumping 50 watts out on GMRS out of my Jeep. My family said I was getting out of control. So I think now I do have it under control. All I have to do now is build a repeater. If I can just build a repeater, I'll be done. I won't need any more. I'll be cured. So I will be building the Not a Rubicon GMRS 50 watt repeater sponsored by BuyTwoWayRadios.com. I'm going to make a few videos as I go through this process of building this repeater. This video is part one, the planning and figuring out what I need to do. The next video will be actually putting it together and programming it and setting it up. And then probably the last video will be choosing a location where the thing is going to go inside the house that is wife approved and where the antenna is going to go and how I'm going to get it up there. That's going to be an entire adventure on its own because my roof is like this. And the tiles, it's got ceramic tiles and they're made out of potato chips. And if you walk on them, they break and they slide off and then you fall out. I'm not even sure how I'm going to get that antenna up there, but I will figure it out and I will share it with you so that you too will know how to build your own GMRS repeater. So in this video, part one, I'll talk about why, why would somebody want a GMRS repeater? It's not because I'm a radio addict. I'll talk about the, uh, what I'm going to need or what I think I'm going to need and the, the plan. Got it all planned out. So there's a few reasons why you might want a GMRS repeater. A lot of people want a repeater for emergency use, for shit hit the fan use. When things go bad, they want to have communications just for their family. So by building your own private repeater, putting an antenna on the roof and handing out some pre-programmed walkie-talkies to the family, you'd be able to communicate probably within a pretty good range, a few miles around your house or wherever you put the repeater up. That's probably the most common reason why people want to build their own repeater. If there's no repeaters in your area, the biggest comment I see on my GMRS videos is there's no repeaters in my area. What shall I do? Well, build your own, put one up, be a pillar of the community and put it up for everyone to enjoy. Now, first, if you watch my videos, you know, I am not an expert. I'm not a radio head or an antenna geek. So I'm learning all this as I go along. And this series of videos will prove that if I can build a repeater, you can build a repeater. I'm not trying to build the best repeater in the world. It doesn't have to be or have the longest distance and range in the world. I don't care if the harmonics are not perfect. I just want a repeater that works. My goal is to cover the area from my house about 25 miles in each direction, 25 to 30 miles in each direction, east to west and south. Behind me, I've got a mountain range, so I don't have to worry about that, but I am located kind of at the top of a hill, so I've got good line of sight for many miles. So 25 to 30 mile range in all directions, except for behind me, should be achievable. I don't have to have the best equipment. It does not have to be the most technical equipment. I just want it to work. That's my goal. I don't want it to be too expensive. I could just go out and buy a repeater, a pre-made repeater, but those are about $1,500. It's out of my price range, out of a lot of people's price range. On the other hand, I could go buy a pre-made, uh, Redivis makes a pre-made little portable repeater and it's only three or $400, but that's only five watts or 10 watts. I could also just build a simplex repeater using a couple of these bow fangs, but I want something that's a little more powerful. I want something a lot more powerful and more reliable. It has to be easy to put together because I'm a moron. And like I said, it just has to work. It does not have to be perfect. So in part one, this video that you're watching now, I'm going to be using the Ocean KG-1000G that I'm going to base my repeater on. I'm going to be using two of these from buy2wayradios.com. KG-1000G is a 50 watt mobile GMRS radio, and it is designed so that you can easily combine two of them into a repeater. It even comes with the cable that you need. Plugs right into the side here. 
plug the other side into another one of these. I have two of these. And then you program it, tell it which one is the receiver and the transmitter and you set up your tones and everything. So it is designed to be a repeater if you connect two of them together. So that's gonna make it easy. The KG-1000G is about 300 and $20 and I will need two of these. For the antenna, I'll be using a Tram 1486. That is a base station antenna designed for GMRS. That will go somewhere up on the roof, if I can get up there. I do have a crippling fear of heights. That's going to be an issue. I'd have to pay somebody to come up and get on my roof. Cause like I said, it's like this. To power the two KG-1000Gs, I've got a power supply. This is the DWC30WIN. It's a 30 amp DC power supply. Should be plenty for both radios. Also available from buy2aradios.com. I'm gonna need a duplexer because a repeater requires an antenna to receive and an antenna to transmit. So I need either two antennas placed far apart so they don't interfere with each other or a little magical device called a duplexer, which I will also be getting from buy2aradios.com. I'll be getting the XLT GMRS 50 watt duplexer, which is about $150. The other option is to use two antennas. As we know, I'm already gonna have enough trouble getting one antenna on the roof. I don't wanna hassle with two antennas and two coax feeds. It's just too much of a hassle. So for me, it's worth the extra money to get a duplexer. I'm gonna need a coax line and I don't need the most best LM $440 a foot coax. I'll probably get some standard RG59 type coax to run up to the antenna. I'll need mounting hardware to mount that antenna to wherever I'm gonna stick it to. I'll need to ground the antenna, so I'll need grounding cable. And I'll need a grounding rod, probably because there's no cold water pipes on the entire side of the house where I think the antenna will be going. I'll also need some patch cables to connect the radio to the duplexer and things like that. But all of that extra stuff shouldn't add up to more than $100 or $150. Now, another thing that I might need, I'm not sure yet, is something that's called an ideomatic, which will connect directly into one of the KG-1000s and automatically transmit an identification every 15 minutes or half hour or however you program it for. It only costs about $50 and buy2wayradios.com will be selling a interface cable specifically for that ID Omatic to connect to the KG-1000. But I'm not sure legally if I need to have the repeater announce its identification automatically every 15 minutes or any length of time. I gotta read up on the legalities. If you know what the FCC rules are for a repeater identifying itself, Leave a comment below and let me know. I'm learning. This is all a learning process. I'll be asking questions if you know the answer. Leave a comment and let me know, but leave a link to the source of where you're getting this from, like the FCC website, so I know that you're right. Now, if I was gonna be using the repeater for real shit hit the fan situation, it needs its own power supply because when things go south, first thing to go is the electricity. So I do have a Jackery 1000 solar power generator. So I'll test that out as well. That's a good option for real shit hit the fan because that should be able to run it for days. We'll see. Some of the other things that I'll need to figure out is uh, choosing a channel. What, what channel, what repeater channel do I want to use it on? I've got other repeaters in my area, so I've got to make sure that I don't use a channel that's in use by another repeater. I also need to decide if I'm going to make this repeater open for everybody to use because I'm a pillar of the community and I want to give back to the community and let everybody use my repeater, or I might want to keep it private. Also need to figure out if I want to put a tone on it. So if I want to keep it private, I have to put a tone on it, even though people can easily figure out the tones. Even if I make it public, I still may want to put a tone on it just to keep the riffraff that are driving by from accidentally using it. And if I do make it open to the public, then how do I let the world know? How do I get it listed somewhere like uh, mygmrs.com? And also things like licensing. Does the repeater need its own license? Do I use my license? I have no idea how any of that works. So these are the things I'm gonna have to figure out. If you know, leave a comment below. So if this is something you're interested in doing yourself and following, leave a comment. I'm asking, this is one of the only videos where you're gonna see me begging for comments because this is I'm learning this as I go. If you have questions about what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, if I didn't already cover it, leave a comment, let me know, I'll try to answer them. If you have built your own repeater or are going through the process now or thinking about building your own repeater, if you've got any tips or lessons learned or things that I haven't thought of, let me know, I'm learning here. We're gonna figure this out together. It will be a community project. I hope to have the next video up in just a couple of days or weeks once I get started putting this thing together. If I get a lot of comments or people show a lot of interest, I'll probably do it faster. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the trip.